This is Joy in the Journey with your hosts, Sue Landis and Beth Davis. Stay tuned. It's time for Joy in the Journey. Hi, welcome to Join the Journey. I'm Beth Davis. Glad you tuned into the program today. We are excited. Hope you're excited. And you might not be excited because you might, you might be at a rough spot in your life. And that's okay. I'm glad you tuned in. God has you here for a specific reason today. Don't you dare turn the channel. God is speaking to you today. He wants to give you some knowledge of what he's up to. You may be one of these people that just need to hear um, what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to talk about some programs that God is birthing into the churches, uh, programs that are much needed because people in the churches are struggling and uh, we're not getting out of it. We're not getting set free. We're not getting delivered. And God is the answer, but he's bringing and repurposing uh, and retooling our methods because things need to change all the time in the, in the church. God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But some of the methods that we need to learn and grow in have to change because people are changing and the generations change. And so I'm glad you're here. We're gonna uh, open up today with uh, Sue's here on the set again. Hello. And we got a special guest, Veronica. Welcome. is with us today. Welcome. welcome, welcome, welcome. Veronica Ross, right? Yes. I just, uh, yeah, it had to click there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> had one of those senior moments. <laughs> that, but uh, I'm glad you're here and I, I'm excited today. We're gonna talk about living free and people maybe don't know what living free is out there in the, in the church, churches, in the communities and um, they're gonna hear more about it and I know that uh, there's many other uh, ministries like it and some of the churches maybe not uh, are aware of living free but maybe they're doing the celebrate recovery you know because there's different different ones it's all generally the same type of ministry ministering to those that are struggling with life controlling issues yes you know and that's pretty much all of us yes. now they're the substance you know and there's the alcohol and there's you know the the opiates and the you know those kind of things but um, I think the church is messed up because everybody's letting something run their life instead of Jesus. Right. <laughs> you know, and that's why we haven't been able to be the church because uh, things have controlled us. Mm -hmm. You know, that God has not been Lord of our life. And so that's been up there controlling us. And I'll tell you, I, I've come through some things. You know, I've come th some things with food, you know, where, um, you know, that dictates to you. You know, that will tell you where to go, when to go. It'll tell you not to eat. It'll tell you, okay, now you're home, let your guard down, now you can eat, you know, because right. that's how I used to, you know, because I keep the control, you know, but then I'd come home and, you know, just eat and, and my weight would fluctuate. You know, that was a, that was a, um, uh, an example of my out of balance life, you know, right. as my weight would go up and my weight would come down. It was an example um, of my of life, life being out of control. Yeah, and life, it was yeah. life controlling issue. Food had control of my life, you know. Yeah. You know, would tell me how many, and uh, the cookies would speak to me, and yes. the cake, and the pie, and the ice cream, because those were my weaknesses. Mine was shopping. Yeah. When I would have um, issues going around at home, the way I try to make myself feel better is I'd mm -hmm. go out and go shopping, and then mm -hmm. I racked up a bunch of credit Bills. card debt, and then mm -hmm. I'd get home and feel really crappy yeah. and Isn't that not something? like anything I got. And it feels was just good at the time though, didn't it? Yes, yeah, at it the does. time. Yeah, it does. Well, what's in for a season yeah. is what's what's in for a season can be enjoyable or yeah. something like that. Yeah, it is enjoyable. Right. I mean, those cookies were good. Mm -hmm. You know, the, your body was thinking. Yeah, it was like, Ooh, yeah. you know, but then the, you know, the downfall and it's just, a, it's an ongoing trap, you know, and then the guilt, you know, and oh, well, might as well eat some more, you know, mm -hmm. that is just all a bunch of, nasty you know right. God doesn't want us to live lives you know, like that and, and he doesn't be. want us to ha be under control of something else he wants right. to control our lives and even our emotions can control us I, I know one of the living free things that I think we have or is on anger mm -hmm. yes on um, how to deal with anger because anger can be a life controlling issue yeah. in our in our yeah. lives it's an emotion you know and I mean Jesus you know we saw what he did when he got a little angry you know um, but yeah, it, it can cause things that are not, you know, 
right? You know, it causes us to say nasty things. It can cause us to throw something or hit mm -hmm. somebody or, you know, something even deeper or worse, you know, if you're under any kind of an influence of something and then you get anger involved on top of that, you could kill somebody, Yeah. you know? You could mm -hmm. kill yourself. You know, it's just a, it's a, a mess and it's, it's a tactic of the enemy. Right. You know, it's all because what he wants to do, kill, steal, yeah. and destroy. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're gonna talk about living free today so that we can just get it out there. You know, that uh, people that maybe aren't hearing about it yet, you know, might catch the program. So they can say, well, I've heard, I've kinda, I heard somebody talking about this. Now they're gonna know what living free is. So let's just, let's just look at living free. Let's look at an overview, you know, and let's just talk about, you know, uh, what is that ministry? Uh, Living Free is a Christ-centered mm -hmm. curriculum program. The key, the key. And mm -hmm. that is the key. That is yes. the key. Because you can have uh, many support groups, as mm -hmm. you know, in society, there are. but when there isn't Christ in the center of it, then that's when the enemy can get in. Right, right. And uh, the thing I just love about Living Free is it's about the Word of God, mm -hmm. um, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm and the people of God. Yes. So the books were, the books are growing mm -hmm. as we're learning mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. um, about life controlling issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, Living Free's curriculum has just, I mean, we've went up to 51. We've added eight more books this wow. in the last month wow. because so many life controlling issues. Mm -hmm. um, when anybody hears that, they think right away, oh, well, that's somebody suffering from addiction, that's not me. Mm -hmm. um, I know when I took the 12 Steps to Freedom, mm -hmm. um, I was like, there I am, the workaholic. Mm -hmm. Everything is centered that's around work. One. I get home from work, I think about work, I can't leave work, and mm -hmm. no matter how much you put in your mind, I'm gonna leave work at home when I go mm -hmm. home today. Mm -hmm. You take it home with you. Mm -hmm. And once I was able to see those 12 steps that one of the books offers, mm -hmm. I mean, and then I was like, oh, that's me too. So mm -hmm. I mean, I was like, wow, Satan's been busy attacking me and mm -hmm. I wasn't even aware of it. Mm -hmm. But once I went through those 12 steps and, um, and it was all, it all revolved around Bible, the, the Word of God. The mm -hmm. Bible verses mm -hmm. were just jumping out at you. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, That's and nice. you know, you have to, you have to stay in the Word. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people don't know where to look mm -hmm. and they don't, they're new and they mm -hmm. don't realize that um, the Bible is our guidebook for life. Right. And when we have a tool like Living Free to help us see not only that we might have a life controlling issue, or there might be an area we, where we know we need help, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can then go back to the Word of God and mm -hmm. find our guidance. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's been so amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's back up here, because I'm thinking, you know, there's gonna be people going, okay, who is Veronica? You know, why, why are we talking about living free? And, and where do you fit into the picture? You know, so we need to know, you know, we need to share that with them. So can, let's back up even a little further than that, okay. so that they know where you have come from, just briefly, mm -hmm. you know? and then what God is doing and how he's bringing you up through the living free and, and just birthing all that and bringing that to light. So well, let's back up to, let's back up to that little part, you know, of, of those struggles. What just brought me freedom. here? Yeah. Um, well, God uh, delivered me 24 years in October from uh, drug addiction. Wow, and thank you Lord. I know the other side of the coin, as they mm -hmm. would say, mm -hmm. um, there's actually three sides. I know I know the side of being delivered from addiction. Mm -hmm. I know the lack of resources, mm -hmm. what happens. And I had lost my son in March of 2016 to this epidemic. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if uh, he had these resources readily available, mm -hmm. things might be different. Mm -hmm. So you're a candidate for God to, to use to dive into this and, and to use as a spokesperson because oh. you have passion because of the hurt and yes. and all those things that the enemy has has you know done you know to try to take you out God says mm -hmm. watch what I'm gonna do yes and he's made me a state representative for Ohio with living free so I have the joy of going out and seeing the transformation taking place mm -hmm. in uh, different mm -hmm. places where I go and mm -hmm. um, present the curriculum and help them train for um, how to facilitate these meetings mm -hmm. and support groups. And I mean, it's just a blessing all over. So Living Free is, is support groups, basically. Yes. If, if the world would want to understand that, you know, or the secular, you know, it, they're support groups, right? Yes. That they're different subjects or, you know, that they zero in on, mm -hmm. you know, and it's filled with the word, like you said. Yes. 
there's sections, you know, I'm, I'm aware of it because I've seen some of the books. Uh, there's a spiritual section that's the Word of God, you know, where you bring out scriptures, you know. So it's, it's, a, it's a support group, basically. Yes. Is that how you would describe it? Yes. How often do you meet, though, in a, in a class? Like, does it depend on what your um, class you're teaching? Um, it, usually it depends on the need of the community. I know that uh, with the epidemic going on right now, I, um, in our church, we have uh, uh, Stepping Into Freedom, which is a 12-step program that's Christ-centered. Mm -hmm. um, we have that now. The, gr the groups have grown so quickly. In a matter of two weeks, we've had wow. to add another day. And also what we have for uh, codependent and enablers, those that are... Um, watching the person with the addiction mm -hmm. that needs support need to understand are they helping or healing so like are the they, family you know, are they healing or hurting right mm -hmm. um so they're it's given them guidelines through scripture on how they need to handle their part in mm -hmm. it because addiction mm -hmm. is not a one person disease right. it is a family, family. disease yes mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's so true i mean just from my own experience i think back and and because we've come through you know with my life you know with some alcohol issues and and I remember my part in it, you know, as uh, that enabler, you know, and not knowing the right things to say, you know, which just kept it going, you know, mm -hmm. kept it going, kept it going. Because uh, I was even in a, a, we were both in secular groups, you know, but didn't have Christ in it, you know. So, I mean, I was beginning to learn some things, you know, and have knowledge, but there was still peace missing. And mm -hmm. you said that earlier, that's, that's Christ, you know, they're centered yes. around him because that's where he answers life for everything. Right, right. He's, he's the one that brings life life more abundantly. So the 12 step program that you were mentioning, is that a, a one day or is it? Well, the 12 step program, we yeah. meet once a week. Okay. And then when we finish the 12 steps, we just rinse, wash and recycle, do it all over again okay. in that way. Because some people um, are in different areas in mm -hmm. their life with any kind of addiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we don't close it off and you're not finished with it. It's a continual thing, mm -hmm. a lot like the secular groups. Right, right. So we okay. start, um, do the 12 steps. Um, sometimes the Holy Spirit's really moving and we don't get we don't get through that segment <laughs> and we mm -hmm. uh, stay on that stuff. Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. sometimes we stop if the Holy Spirit's moving us and we stop and we pray for someone that mm -hmm. needs it right then and mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. And we also offer resources and help if there's someone that is in the group that says, you know, after being here, I do need help. Mm -hmm. And then we have resources readily available to mm -hmm. get them into treatment. Mm -hmm. That's that's really that uh, important. That's good. I like yeah. that, what you just said. Um, that we stay tuned in and keyed into the spirit because, mm -hmm. you know, we, I know for myself, you know, one of my weaknesses, you know, is having that little routine schedule on box, which God has delivered me from through the last uh, several years of my walk of, of being flexible, you mm -hmm. know, and be tuned into the spirit and to move in, in his direction, not what Beth Davis has set up, you know, mm -hmm. and boom, 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 there's my list, you know, because that leaves no room for, for the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, spirit to, to prompt me mm -hmm. and say, okay, well, you're not going there. I need you to go down south today, you know, or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and be ready, you know, because I'm his vessel and I have made him Lord of my life. So therefore I have to be willing and ready to go and, and be flexible and, and to be really flexible important. to hear the spirit, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, somebody, what's it matter if we don't get through the first session? You know, we're gonna exactly. be there next week, you know, whatever. You know, this is important today. It might might make a difference on this person dying tonight, you know, mm -hmm, or exactly. whatever. So I think that's really, that's that's key. And I like that, that you brought that out. Um, and that you're gonna, people may have recycle. to go back through it. What did you say, rinse? rinse. Yes. Wash, Wash rinse, rinse, and recycle. recycle. Wash, rinse, yeah. recycle. It's the funnel program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anybody could jump in at any time. Yes, you wouldn't right. have to necessarily start at step one. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. there are open groups and okay. Because we might have um, an example. We have a mother that just found out that her teenager's using drugs, right, but right. she has wow. nowhere to Where go. She and, mm -hmm. and she wants to go to her church. She wants to um, have an answer mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. uh, and she wants it to be a biblical mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to try to lean on her own understanding. Mm -hmm. She wants to do what <laughs> mm -hmm. she is. Which is biblical. <laughs> yes. Right. So right. she wants to reach out to her church community. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, now they'll have um, these programs set up so mm -hmm. that she knows just where to go. Right. Mm -hmm. But she might find out, and let's say we're on um, uh, step three, or mm -hmm. um, in concerned persons, uh, we're on chapter four. 
well, we, sh we don't want to stop anybody from coming in because mm. the whole key is we're here to help. Right, right. And the Holy Spirit will bring them in and the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit will allow us to help. Right. right. Through the Word of God mm -hmm. and the people of God. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. So the Concerned Persons is the group that ministers to those that are living with or have somebody in their uh, close perimeter that they're concerned about that's struggling yes. with some kind of a life controlling issue. And that reminds me of a lady I just talked to recently that had called in, you know, because she had heard, you know, heard, that's how God does it, word of mouth, mm -hmm. had heard that uh, that we were starting some groups here and, and she's very concerned, you know, and uh, she knew, you know, God had already showed her that she knew in her heart that she needed help. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that's a blessing right there. That's step one. Because a lot of people, they point to the other person, you know, they, oh, I did it. Mm -hmm. That's why I can say that. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, he needs help. He just won't stop drinking, you know. And then God began to show me, well, you need a lot of help. You need, help too. <laughs> you need a lot of help. <laughs> you know? Well, what it's taught, I, you know, since we've been doing the group, it's taught a lot of people that, um, they're actually becoming sicker than the person with the addiction mm -hmm. because they're so focused wow. yeah. on fixing oh it. Oh my gosh, I remember. And I remember that too. Yes. I did the same thing. And, and oh my it's gosh. insanity. It did not. And that's what it Satan is. wants. He it wants is. That, the same thing uh, over chaos. Again. Mm -hmm. That chaos and that insanity. Yeah. He wants to entrap you in that. And oh. then before you know it, you're focused on that person and not on God. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. And God will have the fix. Right, right. I can just, that just brings back so many things in memory. Yeah, I do. How <laughs> insane things were. I nagged, you know? I cried, oh I gosh. did all sorts Bargain. of things. Yeah, yeah, I bought the stuff, mm. you know, so. I would check. I would go around and check, you know, and look and see what mm -hmm. I could find. Oh, yeah, and flush it or. <laughs> yeah, or you try to get rid of it, you know, what's I the did point? That too. You know, <laughs> yeah, but that's just craziness. That's what the uh, enemy wants. Um, uh, and then we also have uh, for the grieving mothers, because mm -hmm. unfortunately with this epidemic, we do have um, in their lives. a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. And it's not just loss for a grieving mother. I mean, now the days that we live in now, um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of divorce. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. children have, because we have a children ministry too, mm -hmm. that help them deal with loss mm -hmm. because our children can't help what their parents are doing. Right, so, right. I mean, it's important that we remember that this is a whole family support mm -hmm. system we have. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, have a lot of groups that could help benefit the mm -hmm. children that are dealing with it because either their parent, if you have addiction, let's right. say, to a substance abuse or alcohol. Mm -hmm. The parent could either be in incarceration, mm -hmm. in treatment, on the street, mm -hmm. or they could have died. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's four areas that a child is not going to remember and not, you know, not know how to respond to right, this. Right. They're going to act out with right, behavior. Right. This right, is right. why we have people uh, at the Ch Christian Children's Home right. of Ohio. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is because families have so Had there's issues. division there, mm -hmm. and God wants to restore those families. Mm -hmm. So not only do we help the adults that are in the situation and the family, but we can also help the families so that we can restore the family as God intended it to right. be. And this right. is what the church is supposed to right. be doing all along. Exactly. Yes. So Yeah, because the enemy just wants to continue it. That's what mm -hmm. he does. What, what you just described there is how he wants to continue it generation. to the next generation yeah. yes. and the next generation and just keep it going. That's his, that's his game plan. But God, I'm so thankful God has a better game plan and he loves, loves his people, you know, loves all people. Yes. He doesn't want anybody to go to hell. And, certainly not die, you know. Um, he has purposed every life, mm -hmm. every life. Word says plan and a purpose, you know, mm -hmm. and it's not to harm us. So yes, the church the is important to get the church realigned. I heard mm -hmm. that word the other day, uh, a teacher um, was teaching and I had not listened to him. It was the first time I'd listened to him and, and the word that caught my attention um, was realignment. You know, he was talking about realign and real, mm -hmm. realignment. So I listened to it, it was like an hour long and that's hard for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's harder for the young generation to sit and listen yes. long, but that was hard for me and I'm closing in on 60. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, you know, I like shorter version too sometimes, but I thought, you know, there's something in this. I, I need to listen to this. So I did and, and just realigning and get things back in the way they were intended to be in the churches. I mean, the churches, this is not only for those that are struggling with substance, Correct. but I think of all, like the free to grow, mm -hmm. you know, the one that I'm uh, in right now that we're doing on one night a week. And to me, that is such a good group because when I saw that and started looking at it to see what that is for, uh, to me, that is for anybody in the church. Yes. Anybody in the church. 
that will help set you free from certain areas that are keeping you from growing because mm -hmm. God wants you to be free to grow, you know, yeah. and not be ashamed or not be, you know, afraid to talk about something or get something out, you know, that as God reveals it to you and it's going to come out, you know, you're in that group and you're going through that, this just comes out, you know, you start talking about things, which is step one and, mm -hmm. and then this, the, the Word of God is in there and you got the group and you got other people sharing and God just does a miraculous work, yeah, you know, and I, I am so excited about that group, you know to get through it that I think that is going to be a blessing to the church, you know, as people get get wind of that, you know, and people start talking, you know, in the church, mm -hmm. you know, well, I just got out of free to grow and, you know, and, and sharing kind of like little testimonies right. within the church, you know, yeah. really, he did that for you, you know, that's what that was about because people are apprehensive. Mm -hmm. People have fears, you know, when they don't know. I mean, that's just how it is, you know, mm -hmm. when the unknown, right? Mm -hmm. You know, start a ministry, uh, get the ladies together. Isn't that what he used to tell me? Get yeah. the ladies together. What is that, Lord? Get Just the ladies together. It. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you know, what are we doing? You know, uh, get the ladies together. Simple instructions. You know, mm -hmm. he'll get to that part when it's that time. You right. know, you but the church is apprehensive. You know, and people are, are are not sure because they don't know, and that's why we want to talk talk about it. You know, and get it out there and and have other people. I think God's just going to use them as little testimonials once mm -hmm. they come out of these programs and just testimonials within the church and start talking to each other and more people you know, get involved and get into these classes they need to be in and get set free, delivered, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's anger or shopping or right. drugs and alcohol or whatever, you know, whatever it, whatever is. it is, yep. you know, he wants us to be free to grow. Well, there's so much that you don't even think is an addiction. Think mm -hmm. of social media. How many yeah. times yes. you go just to look at something yeah, yeah. and next thing you know, it's been two hours. Yeah, and yeah. you're like, did that, last that night. took two hours <laughs> yeah. of my, I gave that social yeah. media, you know, and yeah. everything is okay in proportion. Right. right. But when you start to gradually overdo, overdo and forget, yeah. what are we supposed to do right. every day? Right. And those things are creepers, you know, they, you know, yeah. they creeps in uh, and he's a creeper. He's, he's, creep. he's, he's a creeper. He's, he's a creep that creeps. But God gave us power and authority over everything that creeps that's on right, earth. That's right. But I was, when you said that, I mean, the other day, my son was helping me with a new phone so I could pass my phone on to my one grandson, and and uh, he wanted to leave it at his house that night, you know, and to upgrade or up, update or whatever, because mm -hmm. mine would never do it and didn't have enough storage on it. It kept bringing up a little thing, you know, you don't have enough storage on here, so it wouldn't do the backup. Mm -hmm. Backup is the right word. And I think, uh, you know, oh, well. And he'd say, you really need to do this backup. And I said, how long is it going to take? You know, so it starts its little thing, you know, and it says, first of all, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and pretty soon it turns into an hour, you know. Pretty soon it says two hours. And pretty soon it's 10, 30, quarter, 11. He knows that's way past my bedtime. He says, why don't you just leave it here tonight, Mom? I said, well, I can't. He goes, why can't you? I said, because somebody <laughs> might call me. <laughs> he says, you can live one night without your phone. I thought, oh, Lord, you tried to show yeah. me something. <laughs> Yes, and I thought, Lord's all I need, you know. You know, that reminds me when you say telephone <laughs> is, uh, I had one woman, she was telling, and I never thought about this, and I know we've all done it. When mm -hmm. you call an automated phone service, mm -hmm. like the utility right, company, right, right, right. and you're put on hold and they place oh. you in line. And then, you know, she says, well, I saw three things that I need to deal with there. Oh. One, you know, you don't know how long you're going to be on hold. Right, right. You know, yeah, we'll be right with you. Right. We'll be right with you. Well, then you get so consumed with, well, I can't hang up, I'm gonna get out of line. <laughs> and then you're wrapped up in that, and then all of a sudden next you're agitated because yeah. then you're like, you're well, waiting. I wanna call back, mm -hmm. and you're waiting. She says, mm -hmm. but I allowed that to take so much of my time, time right, right. Yeah. because I didn't wanna get online because I knew if I got online, I was gonna get on Facebook, <laughs> she says. <laughs> but then I ended up entrapped in, in, in that anger I didn't know I yeah. had, and she says, wow. and then it made me focus on anxiety, because then mm. I was afraid they were never gonna answer, she said, so wow. just this, pro, this step we worked on, she mm -hmm. says, you've worked Layers. in four areas of my life. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I was just like, what a blessing. Wow. And it <laughs> continues, every time I do the group, I'm like, Oh, wow, you're really working on me, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a never-ending process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we never arrive to be perfect, and it's always something that God gently mm -hmm. brings to the surface if we, if we allow Him. Sometimes mm -hmm. there's some trials that go on with that coming up to the That's surface. Right. But, That's right. Um, but it's a daily walk where we have yeah. to be reminded. It's mm -hmm. a daily walk mm -hmm. with Him. Right. Yeah. There was something else I don't, I don't know that we've brought up yet, but there's also been um, training here where we could train other churches to be facilitators, right? Is that? Yes. And that's um, something that we do every 
because I'm a state representative, mm -hmm. the Lord bless me there. Yes. Um, I'm able to bring people into our church or go out to their church to train them. Awesome. Um, it's a six hour seminar program that teaches them how to facilitate small group support groups. Mm -hmm. And then I introduce uh, different resources and um, uh, it's, it's a very, uh, Ruth Graham really put a good presentation together mm -hmm. for us. Okay. So Billy Graham's wife? Yes. Okay. No, daughter. 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 Okay. daughter. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had faced uh, some life controlling issues. So, uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, the Holy Spirit just really blessed this team that mm -hmm. created this curriculum, and yes. they're continuing to bless wow. them with the age of times, with adding more curriculum. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a real blessing. But yes. Um, I can go out to a church and mm -hmm. set it up for one day. But not only do I go out, I add that little extra that uh, um, they might want me to come out and help them facilitate their first group. Right. Um, right. Uh, but it's a, it's an ongoing training, just like uh, being God's disciple. Right. It's right. an ongoing training. It's right. a daily walk with the Lord. And right. Right. So I don't just go out and train them one time on mm -hmm. how to do groups. Um, mm -hmm. Some churches will need education on drugs because mm -hmm. the drugs that, uh, let's face it, when in my it, day, they, yeah, yeah, they're different. And now mm. it's not drugs to me; it's poison. Right, it's it's right. it's not even drugs. Mm -hmm. um, and so there needs to be education, and then there needs to be prevention. And mm -hmm. um, with the things that I have aligned our church with, or retooled our church yeah, with, yeah, I like to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, is uh, how to be a resource center. Mm -hmm. How to, because you don't want someone to come in that is in the middle of a crisis mm -hmm. and turn them away. Um, huh? Right. It's it's like you can't leave them at the altar. They mm -hmm. come in for help. Mm -hmm. Right. And you have to be ready with those tools. So right. I like to go right. out and not even. Uh, not just show. So my training isn't just about the curriculum. Mm -hmm. It's also retooling the church on how they can be a resource center, right. how they can be a recovery church, right. and what they can do in their small community, in their right. church, mm -hmm. that they don't even realize that they can do. Sometimes it's a matter of picking up the phone and giving a phone number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are important tools that we need to know nowadays right. with so much going on that Satan is just ravaging households and families. Mm -hmm. and, and we have the ability as a church mm -hmm. to give them those resources that we've lost track of. Mm -hmm. So I go out and help them also do that. Mm -hmm. So That's it's more good. than just the pastor now, it's the whole body of Christ, each finding their part in this and being a recovery church to where we can help others around us and in our community and in the church as well. Yes. Amen. It's just Amen. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Guess what, ladies? We're running down to the wow. wire again. <laughs> but uh, um, what would be the best way to tell um, in our last minute that we have here um, to tell the people how to, to contact you? Or if they have questions, can they call the church? or? Can they um, put it on the screen? Too? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah, Jim they can, can call the there. church. Um, they can reach me at uh, ChristCenteredPrograms at gmail .com. Um, They can also reach me um, by my phone number two one six four zero eight eight four zero one, and you'll provide these at the bottom of the screen. Right. And then on our website, FaithHarvestFellowship.org. Uh, um, we are going to be having a little presentation, so you can get a little clip of uh, what uh, Living Free is and a little background on it and how we're trying to retool the community and the churches to bring Christ back in to um, help restore these families and relationships. Awesome. Thanks, Veronica. Yeah, Thanks, thank you. Very yeah. Thank you for staying put. This is Joy in the Journey with your hosts, Sue Landis and Beth Davis. Stay tuned. It's time for Joy in the Journey.